This is an emma. It's a wooden plaque that can be found at shrines and temples all over Japan. Normally what people do is they write a wish on the back and they hang them up at the temple or shrine they got them at, hoping that that wish will come true. Now me personally, I like to collect these bad boys. I like to collect them as little mementos of all the cool places I've been in Japan. Emma are really special to me and I'm always blown away by the awesome artwork that can be found on them. And not to mention, they just look really cool and can be used as decoration around your house or your room if that's what you're into. And since I love collecting Emma and getting new ones so much, I thought, why not try and make my own? And that's what we're gonna do today. So I have a blank Emma here and a set of acrylic markers that I've been wanting to try out. I'm gonna put them together and I'm make my own custom Emma. And to keep with the Japanese themes going on here, I thought, why not use everyone's favorite neighbor from Studio Ghibli, Totoro, and combine it with the uh, awesome red Tori gates that you see at all the shrines and temples. I'm gonna put those together, make my very own custom Emma, we're gonna paint it and we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out awesome. I have no clue. I've never really done anything like this, but I'm super excited to try. So I've already prepped these with some gesso and uh, what I'm gonna do now is put the pencils down, get a rough draft, uh, an underlayer to paint on top of, and then we'll go from there. So let's get started. So the first thing that I did before I started this whole project was make some preliminary sketches in my sketchbook and once I had something I was pretty happy with, I was ready to take it to the wood. I had done a test painting on one of the blank M I bought and it did not turn out well. I realized that since this wood has not been treated or primed or anything like that, I need to at least add a layer of gesso to keep the, the pens and the, the colors from bleeding into the wood. I'm not used to working on anything other than paper. So I just looked up some tips online and did my best to make sure the paints would look as good as I could get them. After I put on the gesso, I just sanded it down a little bit to try and even everything out and get it as smooth as possible. But after that, it felt pretty good, it looked pretty good, and it was time to put the pencils down. So as far as putting the pencils on the wood, I just used my sketches that I had and the, the test Emma that I had made before as a reference and did my best to get a solid underlayer down to paint on top of. It was a little tricky um, using pencils on the wood, but after a while you kind of get used to it. The only problem here that I kind of noticed was if you started erasing too much, it was kind of leaving behind slight residue. It, it just, it was showing a little bit, even if you were erasing it. So I tried to be as careful as possible. And at the very end, I took my kneaded eraser and just lightly went over everything to lift it off the wood a little bit and get it as clean as possible and not showing too much. So that when, hopefully when I paint over it, none of the pencils will show through and it'll look clean. All right, check it out. The pencils are done. It was a little challenging. It's definitely not as easy to draw on wood as it is on paper, but I think it turned out okay. I think it looks okay. And we're ready to paint this bad boy. I'm hoping I don't do anything egregious and just ruin it right away as I start. But, you know, that's, that's what these challenges are for. I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out. So let's start painting, let's go. Oh. 
Ta-da! I did it. I did it without any crazy huge errors or mistakes, and while there are about a million things I wish I could have done differently or that I'd like to change, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And for like a first try at something like this, I've really never used acrylics ever, even like with paints and stuff, so those markers were really fun to try out. And I think just as a fun little art challenge and a fun little experiment, I think it turned out pretty well. So let's jump into some uh, better shots so you can see the final product. guys that's it for this little art challenge thank you so much to everyone who watched please don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video i had a ton of fun making this and would love to continue making more videos like this so let me know if you liked it and if you did i'll come up with some more because I'm, I'm excited to try this this kind of stuff more and yeah don't forget to challenge yourself you know step out of your own comfort zone every once in a while and do little fun challenges like this it's a lot of fun but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace